Thanks, IGF, for, for having me. I mean, this is an incredible panel. Um, very, very interesting backgrounds, uh, and I'm, I'm really impressed by it. Um, I think we're, we're three, four people who uh, seem to have very different perspectives on this issue, but I think we're all grappling with the same thing, which is the uh, useful application, legal application even, of, of uh, technologies against some really significant problems. Um, and each of us comes at that in a, in a different way. So, I mean, I think this conversation will be very useful, you know, actually for all of us. Um, I'm representing the Global Engagement Center, uh, which is, again, an interagency office housed at the State Department. Um, and our core goal is to challenge an agile adversary uh, who is aggressively deploying social media and other communications technologies for propaganda purposes and who has no legal restrictions to its use. Uh, on the other hand, the GEC, as I'll call it, it uh, strictly obeys U.S. law. Um, so I'm eager to just give a quick overview of, of how the GEC does its business. And I won't, I won't uh, uh, go too deep, but and, and I'm w wide open to questions. So um, the GEC, uh, on paper, is the organization for the U.S. government that is uh, tasked with coordination, integration, and synchronization, synchronization of government-wide communication activities directed at foreign audiences to counter the messaging and diminish the influence of international terrorist organizations. That's on paper in our executive order. Sorry to read it. Um, but essentially, we're broken into four categories of operations. The first is content. Uh, the second is partnerships. Um, the third is interagency engagement. And the fourth is data analytics. Um, content is essentially the development of campaigns. We conduct campaigns internationally, again, against uh, foreign audiences. Um, they're broad-based information campaigns for the most part. We also have an in-house digital outreach team that conducts online counter-messaging against extremists, mostly in social media. Um, partnerships is developing uh, foreign partners who can do who can conduct operations similar to what the GEC is conducting in their own native voice with their own credibility out to their own audiences. We recognize that the U.S. government is not always the best voice for countering uh, violent extremists. Um, interagency engagement is essentially uh, developing the network that conducts these operations globally. And then data analytics, uh, I'm the, the director of analytics. Now, you know, we recognize that the Broadly, the community that's, that's engaged in this is very good at understanding the problem, the landscape. We can pretty much tell, tell you right now you know, what ISIL and other extremist groups are doing online, what's going viral, what their core narratives are, and who they are. Um, we're trying to use the latest technologies from the private side and from the government side to take it a step further, to understand what are, what are the susceptibilities of the most important audiences out there. Where is ISIL and where are other terrorist organizations trying to get their recruits? And how can we get to those potential recruits first to counter the, the radicalizing message of terrorist groups? Um, so in a nutshell, that's, that's what we're up to. Um, I'm wide open to questions. Thank you.